In a world once compared with precision engineering and unsurpassed manufacturing powers, a huge shift is on the way. The heart of Europe's economic center is aching with uncertainty as the tides of industrial might recede away. The decline of key sectors like automotive manufacturing has sent shock waves throughout the economy. Global shifts in trade dynamics and technological disruptions are reshaping the industrial landscape at an unmatched pace. But amid difficulty, there is hope. As Europe embraces new avenues, innovation becomes the beacon guiding its path forward. Join us as we uncover the stories behind the headlines, the individuals driving change, and the potential pathways that might lead Germany out of this economic turbulence. But before we dive further into this video, we ask you that you hit that like button and subscribe to Tech Revolution. With that said, let us now continue the video. It seems like Germany, the big player in the European Union, is facing some serious economic challenges. You know, the country known for its precision engineering and high-quality stuff. Yes, that one. According to Uwe Schultz, a lawmaker from Germany, the EU's largest economy is in a tough spot due to its strategy of putting restrictions on Russia. Those sanctions were supposed to give Russia a hard time, but it turns out they've hit Germany even harder. Schultz, who's part of the right-wing AFD group, thinks these restrictions, along with other economic moves by the ruling traffic light coalition, are pushing Germany toward losing its industrial edge. He's even saying that this could lead to deindustrialization. Oh, and Russia managed to stay among the top five economies in the world. They even outranked Germany in terms of purchasing power parity. But hold on, there's more. Industrial production in Germany took a hit recently, dropping 1.5% in June compared to May. And the auto sector, you know, the one that's synonymous with Germany's industrial prowess, well, that took a whopping 3.5% dive. This decline is a bit scarier than economists expected, and it's raising concerns that Germany might slip back into a recession. Even the construction sector, with a 2.8% drop, is playing a part in this gloomy situation. Germany barely escaped a recession earlier, and it's now looking like the road ahead might not be all that smooth. Francesca Palmas, a senior Europe economist at Capital Economics, thinks this drop in industrial output could be one of the reasons for another GDP contraction in Germany's near future. George Kramer, the chief economist at Commerce Bank, agrees, predicting a dip in GDP later this year. Now, in the first half of this year, about 2.2 million cars were proudly produced by the German Automotive Industry Association. That sounds like a lot and it's a significant jump from last year. But it's still 10% less than what it was in the first half of 2019. Hildegard Müller, the president of the industry group, mentioned that with the way things are going in the economy and the number of orders coming in, rapid production growth might slow down a bit. Now shifting gears a bit, there's some good news in other parts of Germany's industrial scene, like energy production. New orders from manufacturing shot up by 7% in June compared to the previous month. Although, you might want to take that with a pinch of salt because those numbers got a bit jumbled up by some big orders. German industry is still facing some rough waters, as Solomon Fidler, an economist at Berenberg, put it. There's been a knock from last year's energy price shock, and let's not forget about the soft demand from the US and China. Those factors are playing a role in this situation. Even Volkswagen, that big car maker, is having its adventure. Sales in China, which is its super important market, have been a bit sluggish. In the first quarter, deliveries dropped by 14.5%. There was a bit of a rebound in April and May, but overall, deliveries for the first half of this year were still 1.2% lower compared to the same time in 2022. Also, European natural gas prices have come tumbling down, standing at 44% below where they were before. While the government is still keeping its hopes up for GDP growth this year, the bigger brains at the main economic institutes and the IMF are thinking we might see a slight drop, like 0.2 to 0.4%. Now what's causing this rough ride? 
Well, we've got inflation flying high, interest rates giving some painful jabs, and a slow bounce back in the precious China market. Add to that heavy load of energy costs and you've got a recipe for tough times. The big boss over the BDI industry lobby, Siegfried Rosworm, has raised the alarm. He's saying that Germany is facing a heap of challenges that might stick around for a while. Guess what? Even some smaller players are thinking of shaking things up. They're considering moving parts of their operations out of Germany. The headlines are buzzing too, talking about Germany being the sick man of Europe again. That phrase takes us back to the time before 2000, when Germany was dealing with unemployment and market struggles. But wait, Schultz, the man at the helm since 2021, has a different script in mind. He's all about the green game, saying that the drive towards climate neutrality by 2045 will bring back the kind of growth they had in the 1950s and 1960s. He's thinking all the spending on wind turbines, electric vehicles, cleaner steel production, and heat pumps will create a magical economic cycle. But some experts are saying that this green transition will need heaps of cash poured into replacing old fossil fuel tech with newfangled renewable stuff, and that won't exactly boost growth in the short term. So what's the future forecast? It looks like Germany might be in for a bit of a slow dance, but with growth hovering around the 1% mark for the next few years, as per the main economic institutes. Marcel Fratscher, the head of the DIW think tank, has even mentioned that this decade might see weaker growth compared to the supposed prosperity of the 2010s. The head of the German Textile Industry Association, Ingeborg Neumann, summed up at the BDI event. She's saying that energy costs, labor shortages, and that pesky bureaucracy are making producing in Germany a bit less attractive these days. So you know Wall Street, right? Well, it's feeling a bit more confident that we're not heading for a recession. But hold on, there's something interesting experts noticed while checking out second quarter earnings. Quite a few executives are talking about their industries being in a recession already. Different sectors like manufacturing, chemicals, tech, property, and more are going through some tough times. Maybe the whole economy isn't in a recession, but real estate is, as Jordan Kaplan, the head of property investment firm, mentioned. It's like a mixed bag, you know. Some parts of the economy are feeling the squeeze while others are doing pretty well. Like people are spoiling on European vacations and concert tickets, but they're holding back on buying things like recreational vehicles or home appliances. But why isn't there an official recession label yet? Well, a few things are at play. First off, many struggling industries are tied to manufacturing, but these days, most big economies focus more on services. And then there are some silver linings within the hard-hit sectors. Some companies in manufacturing are booming, thanks to subsidies and demand spikes. Construction is going strong in some areas, like new battery and semiconductor plants. Even though some parts are slowing down, others are gearing up for an AI race in the tech world. While sales might be down for many, some of it due to customers using up their stockpiles. You know, they ordered a bunch to make sure they had enough and now they're using those supplies before buying more. Now here's a concern. When many industries hit the rough patch at once, it could lead to a bigger economic problem with job losses. And let's not forget about Europe, where high energy costs are causing worries about competitiveness. Companies like Lances are even talking about shutting down plants due to financial strain. What might look like a rolling recession with different sectors struggling at different times could potentially turn into a full-blown recession if things keep going this way. And there you have it. We've taken a deep dive into the economic landscape and explored the challenges facing various industries. What do you think about the concept of a rolling recession? Do you see any potential for a broader economic downturn? How might these struggles impact the global market? We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to Tech Revolution. Stay tuned for more updates and see you in our next video.